Yeah, I've got a splinter on my toe today. Why is it splinter so fucking hurt so much? Well, literally. Because all your nerve endings are on the surface of your skin. Go on, get on with it. Sit down there. Do you know, apparently I heard that if you get set fire to it, only it sets, it only hurts for 10 seconds. That's right, third degree burns, you don't feel any pain because all of your nerve endings are fried. Did you see about that comedian called Sean Hughes that died last week? Yeah. He died at 51. Right. All right. And I'm like, why does anyone die at 51? What did he have on going with him? And it transpires that he, I think he had an alcohol problem. Yeah. And I read a quote from him and it said, I decided to stop drinking when I found myself on fire at a party. <laughs> Is that when you know you're an alcoholic? <laughs> So today we are doing an unboxing episode. Um, I've got a very big box from Amazon which I'm really pumped to open in front of you. Um, it's got some pretty exciting things in it. Well, I find them exciting, hopefully you will as well. So um, yeah, let's uh, see what's inside the box. What is it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether this is me or the knife. Have you not go. managed to remove three fingers in your life without using the knife? finger on the sharp bit of the blade woman. I don't think there is a sharp bit of the blade. Okay. Yay! Is there something I'm meant to be pressing? Yes. I don't understand how I'm meant to close this. It is just an exercise. There's only two, there's only three bits to that knife, right? Yes. Probably four bits. There's a blade, a handle, the hinge, and the button. So brute force will not close this? No. The button must be here. Is this the button? No. Am I stupid? Don't answer that question. <laughs> Where is the button on this thing? The boat. Is this the button? Okay, I feel like this unboxing episode is getting derailed. So, now that like Nick... It's not is it? <laughs> no. Martin Scorsese does. Can you please stop interrupting me? Okay. Now that Nick has very kindly closed this knife, which I will now spend the next day trying to work out how to close. There you won't. No, I won't. Um, here's the thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. What is that? I have no idea what this is. What did you buy? I bought lots of stuff. Uh oh, I need the knife again. <laughs> <laughs> I need the knife. Why don't you take all the things out and pull the pack in? Okay. Oh, it's a microphone. Oh, this is <laughs> very important. Coffee, thank you. Thank Jesus for that. Uh, Jesus and all these little wizards. Here's the thing, right? Do you want to come and sit with me? No. What is that? Power extra. I don't want to be bought. An SD card. 128 gigabytes. This is what I'm most excited about. I kind of feel like this is Wally, and like this little camera here is Wally, and the Panasonic is Eva. Yeah, definitely. And realistically speaking, like Wally's gonna get all pissed off. Yeah. Because Eva's appeared. Yeah. No, Wally loved Eva. They're I don't gonna think Wally's gonna love that Eva. Wally's gonna want to beat the shit out of it. No, no, no. Right? Don't love wait it. to see. Okay. Ooh, a, a tripod. Um, and something that I think is semi-exciting, I don't know, I'm excited about it, is a hot logic. I'll start with that. All right, let me get rid of this box. Nick, why don't you come sit with me? People like to see you. So, um, I ordered this because I thought that when we're on passage, especially a long passage, and we obviously need to eat, and one th thing that we want to eat is a nice hearty hot meal, sometimes it's a real pain to have to come downstairs, put the gas on, heat something up, or cook something on the stove top. A, it takes gas. B, we have to come downstairs, which when you're in a seaway might not be what you want to do. And yeah, so having some way of heating up food that doesn't use up any gas, um, and just kind of takes care of itself, we think would be a really good thing, something we get a lot of um, use out of. So that's why we got the Hot Logic. What is this? That's the heating element. Oh, okay. So we need to get a little container. That's clever, isn't it, really? Really clever. There we go. Yeah, I mean, by the way, this sounds like 
we're kind of getting sponsored or something, which I, I wish. Do what? Patient does. None of these products are endorsed. None of these products are endorsed. I wish that they were endorsed, but they're not. <laughs> we had to pay for all of them. Okay, so this is the Hot Logic. And as you can see, there's a heating element there. You put a Tupperware container in full of food. You plug it in. This is the 12, this is the 12 volt version. Um, so that's great. We can just run it off the 12 volt system. And yeah. So the idea is we can just heat a meal. Yeah. We can just reheat a meal yep. without buggering about. That's right. If we're in a seaway that's or right. if one of us is sick, you just go. Or if we're running low on gas. Or the gas runs out. Or the gas runs out. Right, so. Yeah, living on a boat is all about having backups. So it's um, a backup for the backup. For it's the backup. a backup for the, and I think it would just be easier. And you can put like it doesn't have to be reheating meal. We could put like raw fish fillets in with some like coconut cream and some vegetables, and it would just. How cook. does it get? So it gets it gets to a certain temperature, but it doesn't continue to heat. It just kind of heat, it's like a slow cooker. All right. So you can't burn anything. So we okay. Okay. I think next I'm going to do the camera. Battery pack, lead. Let me look at the battery pack. This is one thing I've been wanting to have a look at for a long while. Yeah. What? It's, it, it, this is the thing, basically. It says input entrée, uh, 110 to 240. So it does run on our system. On our system. Yeah. Okay, so we don't need a sit down transformer. No, we don't need a sit down transformer. We just need an adapter. But there's no way, I looked for fucking hours on the internet for that. Is it, you know, is it, can it, can it run on two, dual voltage? And nothing told us. Uh, lens hood. Lens. If this were Casey, now you'd just be throwing it over your shoulder. I know. But we haven't got the money if for If this were Casey, this would be a much slicker production. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Alright, go. Strap. Camera. Okay. I'll do the big reveal. Da, 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 da. Um, I can see our camera. Look, do you know what? I can see its little face <laughs> looking with a little tear in its lens saying, you motherfuckers, you replace me. Yep. We certainly but in all didn't. fairness, just for a point, this is a fairly sexy piece of kit. I know. Okay, so with it comes the... Is this weatherproof? Yes. It's completely weather sealed. Is it? Yep. Even if you put a mic in, I think that um, it's still pretty well weather sealed. But especially without a, a mic. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you. So it comes with... Uh, I just bought it with the kit lens, which is a 12mm to 60mm lens. And it is... What is it? Where's the aperture? probably says that on the inside of the yeah so it's um 12 to 60 millimeters and the aperture is one no it's not it's 3.5 to 5.6 it's a 4k camera um it's got five axis stabilization which is really important because we're always um kind of either filming like this and walking along or we're like panning or we're on a moving sailing boat so having um, that stabilization was really really important it's something that I've noticed with our footage that really annoys me is that there's always that little shake um, one other thing that I was really that really sold this camera for me is that it's got a forward facing flippy screen because right now I can't actually see myself um, so does it bend any further forward no crack yes <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's light. I mean, it doesn't have the battery or the lens on it at the moment, so obviously it will get a bit heavier, but it feels really ergonomic. Um, I mean, that feels really, really great just holding it just like that. Um, put it, put that, because you've got a much bigger hand than me. It feels really nice and solid, doesn't it? Like the grip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that would have pissed me off, but there you go. So it, it, the problem is it's primarily a camera. Right. And secondarily a video camera. Right. So the video button, it's is, like trying to get yeah. that. It's like doing F sharp minor <laughs> on a, like, on a guitar. Like your fingers, like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. I also got a microphone. It. This is a um a voiceover mic. Let me open it up. So this is my uh this is a voiceover mic. Um. This is a voiceover mic, and this is not an expensive microphone. 
it's just cheap it makes me look like I'm about to do some karaoke um, but I'm gonna put it on the little stand so that it looks less kind of you know like I'm about to get up on stage um, and yeah hopefully it works okay so you can see what this is it's a um, tripod we have a Gorilla tripod, which is what the little Sony is on at the moment. It's great, but it does take some fiddling. I feel like maybe this would be easier if we're kind of out and about and I'm not anticipating that I'm gonna to have to like rig the camera up on something or wrap the tripod legs around something else and have it in all these weird positions like we do on the boat sometimes. So if I'm just walking around with the camera and I just wanna quickly set it down to take some footage, I don't want to have to be kind of wrestling with these three legs and trying to get it all so this will just you know the legs will just sit down like so voila so i'm walking around obviously I've... let me put the lens on and then my setup will be that i'm either walking around like this filming something else or I can do this and feel myself and see myself in the LCD screen. I can already feel that this is kind of heavy. I might have to like, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about testing this out. I'm going to do that this afternoon. Okay, what else do I have? What is this? I don't even know what this is. Ah, spare batteries. Yeah, okay. Yet another battery pack with batteries in. Um, yeah, I just feel like we have so many leads and cords and things that I plug in and God knows what, like it's just overwhelming. I bought some bags the other day, they're over there, um, to try and kind of provide a storage solution for all of my stuff. Um, Alright guys, so I hope that you kind of enjoyed that. Um, it was something new and different for us, I hope you liked it. Um, I mean, obviously kind of unboxing camera gear may not appeal to many of you, but if you did like it, Okay, so this is the problem with not having a um, screen that I can see. Apparently that stopped recording at some point. I just checked the camera and the record button wasn't on. So I'm assuming that Nick did actually press the record button. Anyway, so, <sighs> yes. If you enjoyed this episode, then please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Um, this was a very kind of unusual episode for us. We don't normally do this kind of thing. I was pretty excited about getting some boxes delivered to the marina because we're not in a position to receive pa parcels and packages very often. So maybe that accounts for why I was so keen to do an unboxing episode. The camera that I bought, I'm really excited to start using. So hopefully at some point, over the next like few weeks you'll see maybe a difference in the footage that you are seeing um hopefully it's a good difference uh, there's a bit of rock in the marina at the moment um yeah so i'm really pumped to to have that camera for the next season so thanks so much for watching again and uh, as i said thumbs up comment subscribe if you like us that would be awesome and we'll see you guys next time thanks again update on the sailing life Nick showed me again slash I sort of kind of saw what he was doing so I've worked it out and as I'm sure mo many of you know already it was this that I had to press so I know that you guys were really worried about that for a while and I just wanted to update you. Never put a mic in. <laughs>